Hello. Welcome to the Hot Cakes Podcast. I am your host, Kid Bagheera. This is Cake 13. LeBron James. Yeah, y'all remember that little boy who went viral with that shit? I wonder where he's at now. But anyway, we about to get to it. I'm about to be walling for respect. I'm about to pour up. I got me a little snack. Y'all hear some, all that. That's my little fur baby. fur baby in the background. He just will not relax. But we ain't gonna let that stop now. Y'all know how kids are. Whether they fur or, I guess, skin. We'll call them skin. I don't really know. I don't want to say real as if he's not real or anything like that. But y'all get my point. Stop fucking what? <sighs> you done made me drop my drink, bro. Damn. Already. Shit. Anyway. Now, before I get started, if y'all have not tried these Cuban sandwich ch chips, if y'all have not tried these Cuban sandwich chips from Lay's, baby, y'all got to try these motherfuckers. These bitches be hitting, okay? No cap. All right. Lay's, holla at me, baby. Let me get that endorsement going. Let me do some commercials. But anyway, all right. So I know y'all done seen Kwame Brown say y'all need to stop calling him the GOAT, which he's right. And we we about I'm about to lay it all out. We about to get to it. Y'all gotta stop calling this motherfucker the GOAT. I don't give a fuck about all them points, okay? I don't give a fuck about none of that shit, all right? And I'm gonna tell you why. It took him 20 years to do that shit with 10 finals runs. Let that sink in. He had 10 finals runs. So when we talk about this whole GOAT conversation, he doesn't even need to be in the conversation. However, when it comes to Kobe and Jordan, cool. Kobe only had one more finals run than Jordan. Kobe went to seven. Jordan went to six. Cool. LeBron has went to more than both of them, right? Okay. Now, Kareem, I believe, has gone to one, nine, ten as well. But he's won six and lost four. If I'm not mistaken, I know he got the one with Milwaukee and I don't know if he lost any in Milwaukee. And that, and so again, whether it's 10 or 11 is, is irrelevant anyway to, to the point that I'm gonna make. But he went to 10 as well, but he won six. So he's still above 500 in that regard, right? Cool. So yeah, I wanna talk all this point shit, right? You're supposed to have the most points if you're coming into the league out the gate as that nigga. He is that nigga. He was the chosen one. Remember, he got that shit tattered on his back before he was in, even in the NBA, right? So you that's something you're supposed to do. Look how, But look how long it took him to do it. Even with those extended playoff runs. Ten of them. Ten of them, even with the whole three Stooges stage for four years, he was still averaging more than both of them. He didn't even take a seat back. So don't even bring that shit up. Even playing with Kyrie and Kevin Love in Cleveland for four years, he didn't take a back seat. He's never taken a back seat. He's always averaged the most. So we're not doing none of that. Now, with that being said, With that being said, imagine Kareem and Jordan didn't waste time in college. Imagine Jordan didn't have to sit out with that broke leg. Imagine what the fuck their numbers would be if they was just straight in the NBA. They still wasted all that time in college and Jordan still had to sit out. 
and they were still up there and it still took him forever to fucking pass them. So how is you going to use a longevity argument to put him above somebody who he just really now passing and he's played longer than. Oh, okay. It don't, it, no, it don't work like that. I ain't rolling. All you LeBron sexuals, y'all need to stop that shit. Because it don't work. We ain't rolling, bro. We ain't rolling. Want chip? We ain't rolling, bro. It's no fucking way. He approves that these chips is it. Lays, get at me. Let me and my fur baby do some commercials. We ain't rolling with that longevity shit, bro. I give it to him. He's never seriously been hurt. All the goats, all the greats, they all had to sit down at least a year with some kind of leg injury. He hasn't. I'll give him that. But you talking about all the points, bro. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. I ain't rolling with that, bro. Nah. So, because again, two of the players that was in the top three, even all three of them, because Malone only went to two, and he was up there. So imagine he didn't waste that time in college either. I'm not even going to leave him out. And you got 10 finals runs, which is what helped you do that shit. But look how long it took you to get there, bro. So you can't use that argument. Now, how are you supposed to be better than somebody that's never lost in the finals? What are we even talking about with that? If somebody want to say Kobe, it's like, all right. It's still no, but I, I'll entertain you because he only lost two and he got five. So it's kind of like, all right, all right, that's not bad. You know what I'm saying? You got five, he got six, and you lost two. Okay, that's not too, too bad, right? You're still above 500. You're well above 500. Whereas four and ten, whew, bruh, you ain't even... 50%. You know what I'm saying? You ain't even 500. You you be, you well below 500, dog. So no. You know what I mean? Now, just like I brought this shit down for my partner at work. I said, who's your celebrity crush? He tells me Megan Thee Stallion. Who is fine as fuck, by the way. Here, man. Here. Bruh, look. Don't be shaking my shit now. Damn. I said, I go to Meg house six times and smash all six times. You go to our house 12 times and only smash four because I thought he went to 12, but it's 10. Then it's, oh, oh, I don't like this analogy. It, it ain't making sense. Did it, what's not making sense about me being the GOAT and you not? And I smashed her six times and I only went there six times and you went there 10 times, 12 times, but you only smashed four. How that don't make sense? Oh, but he ain't like that analogy. But that's what that shit is. I don't know how many times we got to break this shit down to y'all motherfuckers. Y'all LeBron sexuals need to stop. We get it. He's a phenomenal athlete. You know what I'm saying? Like a tremendous physical specimen. That's why one of them crackers said, hey, I give you a billion. You and Serena birthed me a kid. And y'all can feel however y'all want to feel about it. But that's why. Look at that motherfucker. Like I said, he ain't never really severely been hurt. He sat out that one year, what, two years ago? Because they weren't going to make the playoffs and there was no point. Yeah, here. So we get that. But, dog, outside of that, when it comes to these championships and all that, bruh, and you talking about being a GOAT? Bruh, stop it. Stop it. So, all you LeBron sexuals, whoever your celebrity crush is, I'm going to her house six times and I'm getting right all six times. You go in there 10 times and you're only getting right four times. But it's a reason within the reason why you got right. It ain't just off you. You get what I'm saying? And, it's, and when I say that, I'm not saying that Jordan didn't have no help. Nobody's saying that. Now. He played with two Hall of Famers, if I'm not mistaken. Rodman and Pimpin, right? 
He played with some phenomenal players. Kerr is a, a, a Hall of Famer, too, if I'm not mistaken. So he played with some Hall of Famers, right? But their stature is not of the same stature as the other two Stooges, right? And I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all going to put Kyrie high above the motherfuckers Jordan played with because y'all be saying he better than Iverson, which I don't even understand that one. But I'm going to let y'all go off. I I'm going to let y'all go off with that one. But no, it's he no. But anyway, you've had tremendous help. Tremendous help. And you were still only able to come up with four. Like motherfucker, you picked the teams and you still can't get it done. So that's another strike against you. The GMs had to tell Jordan, they would listen to him, but they'd be like, no, nah, we're not doing none of that. Jordan can't pick talent. Clearly, we see that shit in his track record in Charlotte. So Jordan wasn't even picking the teams like that, like how Lee GM is. So that's a stripe against him. That's a strike against him. Stripe, strike, whatever you want to call it. That is against him, which means you cannot be the GOAT. No, sir. No fucking sir. You can't be the GOAT with that. You pick the team and still lose. You're not swept. Not once, but twice in finals. And you got gentlemanly sweep. You got gentlemanly swept twice. You got 4-1 twice. You got 4-1 twice. Now, this is what I'm talking about when it comes to you getting right with it being perfect, like, circumstances. You know what I'm saying? Like, you catch her at the right time. She's in a vulnerable place. Like, she's extremely horny, but you're the only one there. So she's like, all right, fuck it. You know, all of that type of shit. Not where it's just like, she wants you for you. That's not what's happening. You get what I'm saying? Let's take the first championship. And a lockout season against a baby Thunder team that wasn't ready because Harden didn't show up. Okay. Now, that's a half a ring. NBA players said that shit. It's a half a ring. Now, granted, another GOAT, the greatest power forward of all time, won his first one in a lockout season. But no one says that shit is a half a ring and all of that. Why? Because he is solidified through his shit. The rest of them shits he won, he flat out won them. Won two off, you're all quote unquote goat. Swept them, four won them. So, what? Why are we even talking about this little lockout ring that he won? Right now, the second one, the back to back. Ray Allen saved him. For the life of me, I still can't fucking figure out why the fuck they just didn't foul. If you wrap him up, he does not get to take three shots. He only takes two. We know for a fact he is going to make both, which means you're still up one with the ball. They have no choice but to foul you. You're going to go up three. Worst case scenario in all of this, you're going to go to overtime. Nine times out of ten, you're going to win the game, which means you're going to win the championship. But instead, we know what happens. So... For the life of me, I don't know why. But anyway, so again, that's that. Oh, I'm horny, but you're here and oh, fuck it. It wasn't no straight up like, come when you coming over, uh, you know, all of that. When it's, when you know, you, you know. Now, and mind you, that finals took a game seven to win, which Jordan don't even know what a game seven is. So how you better than somebody when you don't know what a game, when they don't even know what a game seven is, and you've had to win two of yours with a game seven? Make it make sense, right? Now the third one. No Draymond. Mm, you get him suspended because he called you a bitch. And you go telling him, like, that's some bitch shit. You are a bitch. Y'all's goat is a bitch. That's some bitch shit. Like, 
for the life of me, I don't even understand why a grown ass man would be upset that another grown ass man called him a bitch. Come on, dog. Especially if you're acting like one, which he does a lot of the time. He acts like a bitch a lot of the time. You can call me anything. I don't give a fuck. Because guess the fuck what? I'm going to just say it right back to you. And we can go back and forth or whatever. Because I like to think when we doing something, especially physical, and it's uh, competitive, you're going to say shit to get under the under to get under the other person's skin that's just fat so why are we even why are we doing that right and this is why motherfuckers always say he couldn't play back in the 90s this is why did y'all see him last night when he got gentlemanly swept up out of there nobody even touched this motherfucker he fall he holding his leg all this shit bro nobody touched you dog and it's funny, he got a lot of plays against these current Nuggets where nobody touches him and he's all over the floor. That's your GOAT? That's the greatest? Someone who's intentionally trying to cheat to win. Okay. Did y'all not remember on the way to losing his second finals against the Mavericks when... He was flopping and he was winking at Derrick Rose. Y'all don't remember that? Uh, yeah, I remember that. But that's your goat, right? A, f a straight flop artist. They instituted the flop rules because of them. All the Miami motherfuckers was flopping. But that's your goat, right? Okay. Okay, man. That's your goat? Okay, man. I see what you're doing, man. Ain't no gold shit. And I'm going to tell y'all right here, right now. Had Derrick Rose never sustained them injuries, them little two in Miami, y'all could forget that shit. Even with the Duke players on D. Rose's team, they still would have been going to the finals losing. Or they could have overcame it. You know what I'm saying? But... Had D-Rose never had them injuries, that LeBron shit, that, that Three Stooges shit wouldn't have meant nothing. And out of all that, all they got was two any goddamn way. And look how they got them, like, lockout. And Jesus Shuttleworth had to save him. That's why that's that motherfucking nickname. Because he did what he was supposed to do. He lived up to his nickname. He saved them motherfuckers. He saved them. And that's y'all go? Please. Now, let's move on to the fourth. But you know what? I think I still got a little more to say on the third one, right? Because I know in the first one, it was, and I'm talking about the first one against Golden State. Oh, Kyrie got hurt. Kevin Love got hurt. So, excuse me, pardon me. So, a lot of people were saying, oh, this, 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 whatever, whatever. But Golden State was on the way to beating that ass in the second one. So, it was like, Kyrie, no Kyrie, no Kevin Love, Kevin Love, it don't fucking matter. It don't fucking matter. And then, oh, go ahead and sit him down and, and disrupt their whole shit, right? Okay. Okay, so... <laughs> That third one got all that shit hanging over it. Like, all right, all right. So let's go to the fourth one, which is worse than a lockout season. Y'all counting that bubblicious bullshit? They ain't even get a parade for that shit. Now, granted, it was COVID. Okay, all right. But what happens when everything's back open? Y'all not going to give them a parade? You don't think the city wouldn't come out for that? Come on, dog. Nobody even wanted to be there. Let me tell you something. If I was an NBA player and I had been in the league eight plus years and I had never won a championship, I would have went to the bubble and won that bitch my damn self. 
because I could tell don't nobody want to be here. This is my opportunity just to win. So I got to take that, you know what I'm saying? But as a player who has never been there, that's completely different than a player who was expected to always be there in the finals and win these championships. You should not even accept no bubblicious ass, bullshit ass ring. Nobody wanted to fucking be there. All the teams wasn't even invited. So what was the point? How in the fuck is that even real? That's why motherfuckers say that lockout shit is half. It's half a season. So it's not the real shit, bruh. Come on, dog. Now, again, Duncan won his first one in a lockout season. However, he's shown in real seasons, 82 games, I can do this. So we ain't going to worry about that. Cool. Cool. So you got a lockout, a Jesus Shuttleworth save, a suspension that you caused, and a bubblicious. And this is your goat. Where is the three peat? Jordan got two of them. No three peat. And, you know, truthfully, you don't even have half of what he has. You don't even have three rings, or do you? You got a lockout, bubble issue, so that's one. Then you got the Jesus Show Worth and the suspension one. So, okay, I guess that's three rings. So you got half of what he got. And now, you're like a has-been out here. You're getting swept up out of here, bro. It's over with. Like, hurry up. Go play with your son so you can go the fuck away because we are tired of you. We are tired of you and all your LeBron sexual fans. We are so tired of y'all. You are not the GOAT at all. You take zero accountability for anything. You construct these teams and when it blows up, you want to blame somebody else. Blame yourself. It's your fucking fault, bro. We so tired of you, dog. And you trying to play with Bronny, bro. He ain't it. He ain't it. He ain't it. So go play with your son and be done with it. I hope the worst team in the league drafts him number one. So you can go there and be done with it, bro. Like, I know they're saying Golden State going to draft them in the second round. But don't. I hope Golden State don't do that. Because that is going to ruin what's left of Steph's legacy. Steph's legacy already taking a hit with that KD shit. So with this shit, and this is going to ruin the rest of what's left with LeBron's legacy. You get what I'm saying? Like, he got to go... He just got to go somewhere like Utah, some dumb shit like that. Reunite with the other Stooge. Y'all bring in Bosch to do some. Reunite the three Stooges. There you go. But before I end this, I just want to talk to you Laker fans. I'm so disappointed in y'all. As a staff record, as a staff record label and a crew. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves for even letting this motherfucker come to y'all team. Now, I know y'all don't sign no checks. Y'all don't make no decisions. However, I don't want to hear that bullshit. Oh, we, all, we just about the stars. We want the stars, all that shit. Nah, dog. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know what it is between y'all goat and this phony, faking ass motherfucker. Y'all weren't supposed to go to no games. Y'all wasn't supposed to buy no new jerseys. Y'all wasn't supposed to do shit to let the motherfuckers know in the organization this will not stand. Get him the fuck up out of here. And I know it's real Laker fans that approve what I just said and that has followed that. But it wasn't enough of y'all. All them faking ass fans. Oh, the stars. I'm just, nah, nah, dog. Mm -mm. The 
The Lakers should have been so crippled by this, by y'all not coming to them fucking games and buying them jerseys. Y'all should have just did nothing but buy Kobe jerseys. Straight like that. To show them, like, bro, how dare you disrespect us like that? How dare you disrespect him like that? Bro, and if... If the Lakers retire his jerseys for that bubblicious ass ring... I gotta take a drink on that. Because if they fucking do that shit... Man, go. Man, please. So, to all you Laker fans, I'm disappointed in y'all. Because y'all shouldn't let that shit go down on y'all watch. Y'all shouldn't let that shit go down on y'all watch, playboy. Nah, dog. He should have never been able to even be a Laker, dog. And I ain't even no Laker fan, so I don't even give a fuck. But it's what it looked like. It's the principle of this shit. You know what I'm saying? It's principles in this shit, dog. Ain't no fucking way. Nah, dog. But now y'all see, y'all ain't got no draft picks. Ain't got no good players. Y'all done gutted y'all whole fucking team for this foolishness. And when he leave y'all ass this summer, it's going to be a wrap. Y'all ain't going to be relevant like playoff wise and all that for years because y'all ain't got no fucking team all this the all these motherfuckers who won the off season and all this and that where they at what they gonna do y'all trust in them ad ain't shit his soft ass y'all trust in him y'all gonna be new orleans all over again and and don't fuck around and let lebron take ad with him thinking that ad still got something in the tank or an ad is this and that bro no, it's a wrap. But, like I said, to the overall premise of this whole shit, he's not the GOAT, and y'all need to stop calling him the GOAT. That's that. I fucked your celebrity crush six times. I only went over there six times, okay? You went over there ten times, and you only hit four, okay? It's a wrap. You're not the GOAT. I am, all right? Jordan's the GOAT. Calm down. If you want to say Kobe's the GOAT, I'm not going to argue with you. Um, I'm not. All right, I, I, I ain't going to argue. But LeBron, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, shout out to little bro Kev at the job. I need them hundred smackers, my boy. This motherfucker had the nerve to bet on the Lakers. I'm talking about the Lakers is going to beat the Nuggets in seven. The fuck? Are you serious? He was dead ass serious. Too. And then I tried to get this motherfucker out. I said, dog, just give me 50. You got it. But think the Nuggets was only up two. He like, nah, nah, it ain't over. Da, 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 da. Okay. Give me my whole hundred now. Yeah. I tried to save you. I tried to spare him. And I know somebody sat down with the Nuggets and was like, okay, relax. You can't sweep them two times in a row. See, that's some bitch shit. But you want to suspend somebody for calling you a bitch, but that's some bitch shit. If you're going to get swept, you're just going to get swept. That's just what the fuck it is. You're not good enough to fuck with them. You're not. Your team's not good enough to fuck with them. You dig what I'm saying? You should have got swept. And my whole thing was, when me and my brother was talking about this shit earlier, what the fuck was the penalty going to be if they would have said, fuck that, we're going to sweep them anyway? You're going to take away draft picks? Who gives a fuck? Draft picks mean nothing in the NBA. Joker got a good five to seven left. Probably more because he plays at such a low vibration. And what I mean by low vibration is he's not running and jumping and dunking and all that. You get what I'm saying? He plays a very old school, old man game. And that's perfectly fine for him because he's high quality. You get what I'm saying? So he's not going nowhere. So you're never going to have a high draft pick any fucking way. The only way they're going to get a high draft pick is if him and Murray got to go sit down for a year and then they have a horrible season. I don't see that happening for both of them, maybe one of them, but. And shit, they were still making the playoffs when Murray was out. So what the fuck are we even talking about? You get what I'm saying? Like, so them draft picks ain't going to mean shit if they if they get penalized. They're going to get penalized a million dollars. Who gives a fuck? 
Sweep him 4-0 this motherfucker. That's what the fuck he deserves. You get what I'm saying? He deserves to be swept. He deserves that shit. He is not the GOAT, okay? He deserves to be 4-0, but it's all good. Whatever, they up out of there. I got the ching-ching, you dig, so hey. I ain't complaining. But Joker do need to stop throwing the motherfucking touchdown passes. I was getting like a little upset because I'm just like, bro, stop with the bullshit. You know, you get what I'm saying? Like, just stop. Because it was going a little back and forth. And I'm just like, I know they're going to win the series, but there, need, there doesn't need to be a game six. The Los Angeles, the Los Angeles Lakers do not even deserve a game six. Okay. Fuck them. Fuck that. They out of there. But uh, like I said, I'm the GOAT because I fucked your celebrity crush six times and only went there six times. You went there ten times and only fucked four times. Jordan went to the finals six times, won all six, no game seven. You've been ten times, seen two game sevens. So, yeah, no. You're not the GOAT. That's that. Lays, get at me. And y'all go get them new Cuban sandwich lays. They only limited time for the summer so go get them they had a they should be at your local walmart grocery store what what have you and that's that okay